Hey guys, we got another project going on. Hey, ever since we've had this boat, this, uh, we're on our Gemini 3200, it's a 1990. But ever since we've had this boat, we've had water coming in someplace. Uh, every time I find a leak and I get it fixed, I think uh, my problems are over, and then we have water again. Uh, I've got a couple of videos out there on some of the leaks, one's in the cockpit, and the other one's um, in front of our engine sled. Um, if you're having leaks on a Gemini 3200 and you can't find the leaks, check those videos out. And uh, we're going to move forward with this one. So when I got the boat, I wound up putting bilge pumps in. Let me show you right here. I put a bilge pump in. It's, thir it's a whale, a 1300 GPH with an inch and an eighth, inch and an eighth hose. I always seem to have water in when we have a passage especially on a rough passage. So, I wanted to show you something. All right. So I wanted to show and share with you what's going on. When I installed this uh, pump, I had to put a through hole in. To run this water outside of the, of the boat. Hold on, I'm getting there. When I installed this bilge pump, I thought I knew what I was doing. Um, I put in a gooseneck, gooseneck, with this hose that goes up, over, and back down. And I did this to keep it from siphoning water but also to keep water from coming into the boat if it splashed on this uh, through hole. Problem is, it still splashed water through there. I've been on passages and it'll be rough. Water's hitting the deck under here and it bounces up. The pressure pushes it up over this gooseneck and back down and over a long passage, I'll have two or three, four inches of water in my bilge. I know this to be true because I disconnected this hose and plugged off my through hole and on this past next patches we had no water. So I got a solution we're gonna do. So I found these inch and an eighth check valves. They're inline plastic valves and I'm gonna put one right there. And stop this water when the pressure hits underneath the deck that it doesn't splash back through here and go back into our bilge. We've been dealing with this uh, for three years, no, almost four years, full-time cruising. So this check valve has an arrow right there. Can you see it? Me either. Right there. What about my thumb? That's the direction of flow. So that's the way I'm going to put that in. Turn that up. There we go. We got an inline check valve. And I think that's gonna stop my water problems. We're gonna jump over on the starboard side and uh, do that same pump the same way. All right, I installed this bilge pump on the starboard side myself. It didn't have a bilge in it when we got the boat. Uh, I was running an inch and eighth, um, you know, line for that. Um, and I had to put a build, I mean, put a through hole in. So I put it in the galley in here same thing i ran this up and made a big gooseneck in it to keep it from it's kind of for anti-siphoning but on this side we do every now and then when we have water 
pounding on the starboard side we do have water splash through there and we get water in the bilge and so i'm going to go ahead and put but i'm going to go ahead and put one of these this inline uh, check valve is made by a i n c i x a i n c i x um took a while to find so it took a while to find them. You know, you get on Amazon, start looking, you see through a ton of stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Over here. Are you doing boat yoga? This is a, a game we play, Twister. All right, guys. That's it. That's gonna stop that water from backing up into our bilge. So if you got a 3200 and you're fighting, finding where that water's leaking in, check the backflow on your bilge pumps, guys. See ya, thanks for following us. Uh, be sure to subscribe, tell your friends about it, and share, us, share this video if you like it.